you know, there are trainers on YouTube, you know, they put up their own Let's Plays, and then they've got, like, wild Pelipers in their parties, and, um, you know, Pokemon that they obviously weren't thinking about the long term when they used these Pokemon. These would not save them. Um, the Pokemon I use, I, I capture a Pokemon for two reasons only. The first reason, because I intend to use it to beat the Elite Four. Now, I always have the end in mind. <laughs> Born again Christian. No, I'm kidding. But uh, I, I try to look ahead and see just what, you know, what it's going to become. So unless it's you know, a Pokemon that's useful for the entire game or for a certain part of the game that I can't avoid, and I'm not going to catch it. Now, a Pokemon that I catch but never use those are the types of Pokemon that are commonly re commonly referred to as the HM Slave. And they're, they're the ones that you give all the useless HM moves to. The ones that you can't forget. Yeah, like Cut and Fly. Fly's actually become a very good move, but... Um, you know, if, if you want to forget it... It takes time and effort to forget it, and I'd rather not do that. I just want to have one Pokemon in my party that can get me past all the stupid obstacles that I shouldn't have to face. And, yeah, it takes up space, but there's also one other thing it serves for. It's it's a, um, what do you, what do you call it when you put up, like, a fake thing and your enemies attack the fake thing? What, what, what is that oh, called, Tim? A decoy! That's, thank you, Tim. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. It's a Pokemon that, like in later gyms, if uh, one of your Pokemon is about to faint and you want to use like a leveling up item or a healing item, you can put out a uh, Pokemon that you never use anyway, and uh, the, your opponent will attack it and it'll immediately die, but in that little amount of time... Alright, double kick! That's Nidoran's first really good move, and he'll be able to use that against all the Geodudes in this cave. That guy's excavating great. Um, I, I think this next item is an escape rope. It, it goes to show that I know this game way too well, and I should be going out and getting a girlfriend. <laughs> getting a girlfriend, but, uh, yep, there's the escape rope. Yeah, like Amy. It, it's an inside thing. Um... Personally, I'm not gay. I just think that um, girls, their their time out of life that I could be spend doing something else. And I'm gonna let you in on a little something. And you know, I'm just some guy on the internet, so it doesn't really matter. I have Asperger syndrome, which means that I can repeatedly do the same thing over and over again and re really get good at it. And I would never ever get sick of it. So, you know, Pokemon is the game for kids with Asperger's Syndrome. Pokemon and Fire Emblem, I'd say. And maybe Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. I don't know. It, Fire Emblem and Pokemon definitely have the best replay values of any games I've ever played. But, you know, there are some that come close. So I'm going to heal Nidoran around with a potion because it's just going to take too long to go back to the Pokemon Center. Even though it's right out, out there, who cares? Okay, Zubats, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the speed that Zubat gives you. Oop, I was already here. I like the speed Zubat gives you, but uh, it takes a while to beat them with this move Peck here. You know, why does Nidoran have Peck? Uh, maybe it's because of those SpongeBob buck teeth he has in the front of his mouth. Uh, oh, there we go. Peck, is, Peck will now be put to use. Very good, Nidoran. I thought this girl had a Clefairy, actually. Maybe it was somebody else. Yeah, oh, crap. Uh, okay, so Tim didn't remind me, but I'm 14 minutes over my recording limit now, and I'm going to upload this video anyway, but yeah, uh, hopefully they won't yell at me for it. So anyway, thanks for listening. This has been Let's Play of Pokemon Fire Red, and we'll see you on part four.